Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins, and I want to show you the enhanced for loop in Java for accessing array elements easier than the basic for loop. The only downside is the enhanced for loop cannot be used to assign values into an array. Okay, so firstly, this time I've declared an array of strings. So string array called names. So names is the variable that I use to access the elements in the array. And I've assigned four values into the, into the array. So John, Pat, Peter, and Jane. So the enhanced for loop has two sections. The basic for loop had three sections, a declaration section, a test, and an increment section. The enhanced for loop has just two sections separated by a semicolon. So for an open round bracket. Firstly, you declare a variable that will hold the value of each element as it loops. So that has to be the same data type as the array. So because I have a string, uh, an array of strings, the data type here has to be string. And then you can call this variable any, any name that you want. And in that I am going to call it name because it's going to hold one name as it loops through the array. So colon. And on the right hand side of the colon is the name of your array. So my array is called names. And then optional curly brackets. If you only have one statement, you don't need curly brackets, but I think it's a great habit to get in to put in, put in the curly brackets in case you add a second statement into this loop. So it's looping through the array called names. And as it loops, name will have the value of John, then name will have the value of Pat, then name will have the value of Peter, and then name will have the value of Jane. Now my printout here, I'm just going to print out the name of the variable that I've declared in the first section of the for loop, because that's going to hold each element as it loops. And that is simply name. And I'm just going to run that. You'll see an output there of each value from the loop. So just again, just to explain what happens. So there, there is no counter in this for loop like there was in, in the basic one. So you can't kind of print out the element numbers as you're going along, which might be nice to do. So you don't know what position you're at. Internally, this enhanced for loop knows that it's at the beginning and it knows when to stop at the end. So it's looping through the array called names, which is there. So first time through the loop, John will get a copy, will get copied into that name variable. John is printed out. Second time through, Pat will get copied into the name variable. Pat will be printed out, as we see below. Third time through, Peter will, will get copied into name. Name is printed out, which is Peter. And the last time through, Jane will get copied into name. Name gets printed out and Jane is printed. So that is the enhanced for loop for arrays. Remember the colon separating the two sections on the right hand side is the name of the array. So that's got from there. And on the left hand side, you're basically declaring one variable, a single variable of the same data type as the array that will hold each element as it loops through. So that is a really handy loop for accessing each element to print out or display to the user however you want to, or maybe save them in the database. Um, but it, it cannot be used for assigning elements into the array or for knowing exactly what position you're at. So say, go to position two and then stop. There's no way of, of doing that with the enhanced for loop, whereas you can with the basic one.